So I picked up these bars of half inch square YK30 steel. I wanted rounds, but they didn't have rounds, so I figured I'll just give squares a try. So I cut one bar in half. My plan today is to make a small pair of tin snips or shears. For all the tongs I've made, I can't believe I've never made a pair of shears or a pair of pliers from tool steel. These pieces are pretty short, about four and three quarters inch long each. Uh, I'll isolate an inch and three quarter, that will be the jaw end, and the remainder to be the handles. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever tried this sort of tool, and so I just want to fuller to mark between the pivot slash jaw areas and handles. I fullered a second time, and this will prove to be somewhat of a mistake. It creates a weak spot by thinning that area out too much. I probably should have approached this more in the manner that I make tongs, but live and learn. And I still wind up with a good tool in the end. Remember my saying, I make the mistake so you don't have to. Well, I might use that as a logo on some merchandise, and I'll touch upon that a little bit later in this video. This steel is really a bear to move, but you can see my anvil has no problem moving to the right there. I'll fix that. Set up like this, it shouldn't move much now. I'm taking this piece far away from the original shape, and that's not a bad thing, but you just have to think about that before you start. It's just a heck of a lot of drawing out by hand, especially using this YK30 steel. Obviously, I've skipped ahead a little bit rather than bore you to death. I use this hammer, that hammer, and everything in between. I need to thank Martin Sambrook and Jerry S. Hodges for their recent very generous donations. I also need to thank Rob Laycock for becoming my newest Patreon supporter. Thanks very much, fellas. Before I make something I've never made before, I just like to doodle in my notepad. I use my YK30 hammer and I get back to basics. Draw a square, work to octagonal, and then finally round. By the time I'm done, I'll have double the length of the steel. What I want to announce is I just opened a spread shop merch store and I linked it to my YouTube but it takes some time to activate on YouTube so if you want to help support the channel by purchasing an overpriced coffee mug with my blacksmithing logo slash phrases uh, then head over to gs-tongs.myspreadshop.com uh, I'll add shirts but I need to finalize my designs for those. And I'll try to add a link to my spread shop somewhere in the description box.
Although I obviously have a lot of experience with tongues, this is still pretty much a play it by ear project. And as I'm doing this, I'm already thinking about my next pair of shears, how I'll go about it, how I'll make improvements. I'm not an edge tool expert, but the one thing I know is that you want to have that inside cutting edge a uh, sharp 90 degrees. I'm thinking about riveting, maybe with washers, or I might just use a nut and bolt.
So I decided to use a nut and bolt with a lock washer. Uh, hit that with an angle grinder so it's hard to see which is the nut side. I need to lengthen and bend one of those ends down and that will prevent it from closing too far. This is very thin sheet but this little pair of tin snips cuts really well. I'll do a few small adjustments to make this work just right. I'm excited to do more shears, tin snips, and the like. Catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.